Paolo, you are here today at our Aspen Leadership Seminar 2022. Tell us, what are your key takeaways from the seminar? So my key takeaways, uh, first and foremost, is that it is it is incredible actually to come out of my professional comfort zone, if we want to call it. So that I'm, of course, I work as a doctor, as a resident, and I'm always around from the same people that always talk about the same subject with medicine. And to actually come out and understand that the world first is not get around medicine. So there are other things and to understand what are the other points of view of other people with different backgrounds. And on top of that, since we discuss actually about topics that we do encounter every day, but we also discuss about more philosophical topics, it's really interesting to see how people with different backgrounds from different generations and of course from different genders as well, so men and women together, actually see the philosophical bigger idea and what they think about them. And what would you say surprised you most about the seminar? That's a really hard question to, uh, to answer, to be honest. But what really surprised me, have, to be honest, um, I've already been to, well, not to this sort of seminars uh, already, but also I've already been to sort of round tables discussion. And it's always hard in the very first, I'd say, 30 minutes, one hour, in the shorter ones or in the whole day, also in the longer ones, to really get the ball rolling, you know, to really get the conversation starting and to really get a lot, like, to expose yourself, which here didn't happen. Here, it was super easy, starting from the first five minutes, everybody was really super inside the topic and everybody was completely exposing himself and bringing the real stuff into the discussion. That sounds great. Thank you for sharing that with us. And what would you say was your personal highlight in these three days? Like, I mean, how I shined the most or? <laughs> what was what was your best moment? What did you enjoy the most? Well, if we, if we talk about like fun, funny experience or well, enjoyable experience um, when we had the small play and I think, okay, this is my this is my time to shine and be the best narrator of this play that I could be. Um, yeah, I always say that, but also I'm, well, I always say that I sort of have, you know, a, a um, language barrier, but I'm sort of proud of that in the sense that I really enjoyed the possibility to be able to speak different languages, which are not my mother language, and actually be able to understand what the other people were speaking and what were the, the topics they were spoken about. Well, thank you so much. We are so happy that you were here and that you had a great time. Thank you.